Hello and welcome back to another video. If you struggle with thinking of cool lipstick ideas, look no further because I have a bunch of them here for you today. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So the products I'll be using for this look are the Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner and then this NYX Butter Gloss. I believe this is the shade Tiramisu. Love this stuff, it's so nice. So what I'm doing is I'm just sort of tracing the outline of my lip with the eyeliner. You could use black lipstick for this. Um, I'm just kind of messy when I do this, so I feel like using eyeliner is more precise for me. And then I'm just using that gloss and going in the middle and just sort of rubbing my lips together. This one's super simple. Most of these looks are. I like it because it's like a nude gloss look, but you do have that darker outline to it as well. And for this next look, I'll be using this dark red Milani lipstick, as well as this Maybelline Stay Satin lipstick. It's a brighter red. I don't know the names of the shades, I'm sorry. Starting off, I'm just putting that Milani lipstick all over my lips, then I'm lining them with a red liner. Um, basically, all lip liners are the same, so that's why I didn't list the product. Then I'm going over with that Maybelline gloss. I love the way this looks. Um, it's a very simple, basic red look, but using those two lipsticks in combination works really well. For this next look, I'm just wiping off a bit of that red. You typically start with just a bit of red lip gloss in your inner lip, and then I'm using the Milani Matte Satin Black Lipstick, and I am just outlining the outside of my lips. Again, I use eyeliner and black lipstick interchangeably, kind of, in this tutorial. You could use both, whichever you like more. I'm just adding a bit more of that red gloss to deepen that red shade because you do kind of lose a bit of that pigment. This look gives me very much like vampire vibes. I'm living for it. Any combination of black and red lipstick I love. I personally like to add a bit more clear gloss over the top. I just really like the way it looks. This next look starts off with just a black top lip and then I'm doing this bottom lip all red. Similar to the last look but a lot more emphasis on that top lip. Also, between doing these different looks, I had to use makeup wipes to take off my lip makeup and I'm like allergic to them or something. For this next look, I'm using the e.l.f. 18 hour camo concealer in the shade white and then I'm just putting that all over my lips. I usually prep my lips by putting concealer on them before I do a matte look, anything that's not going to be glossy. I like to prep my lips for if I'm going to be wearing the lipstick for a long time. I'm just dotting the foundation I used into that on the corners just so it blends more and doesn't look like a stark contrast. Then I am just building a little kind of semicircle on my top lip, making sure it's all rounded out and doesn't look awkward. And then I'm doing kind of the same with my bottom lip, making that one a bit larger. This one gives me like Betty Boop, like 1920s cartoon character vibes. Um, it's very cute, very simple, but I like the way it looks and I like the underlying style of the lips. So for this next look, it's literally the most basic thing, but I'm basically just doing a black lip. I'm filling in those corners. I just wanted to show you how I do my black lip. I like the rounded style on the top and the bottom. Then for this next one, I'm just taking a makeup wipe to kind of erase in that Cupid's bow area. You can do it this way or you can just not fill in that area to begin with. Um, probably easier that way. Then I'm just making those little points pointier, I guess. Um, this adds a lot of definition and it's very, very angular. I really like the way this looks with trad goth makeup, especially because it is kind of a trad goth lip style, very typically gothic. This is just something that I sometimes very rarely do and I see some people doing, which is sort of like a variation of this kind of lip look. I'm just extending my smile line. On me personally, I don't like the way this looks, um, just because the way my corners of my mouth are, but this tutorial is not for me, it's for everyone else, so this is what it looks like. Doesn't look right on me, I don't think, but that is how you do it. For the next look, you'd typically just start with a tiny bit of black in like your inner part of your lips closest to your mouth. You can do this with black lipstick or black eyeshadow. Now I'm just grabbing a fluffy little tiny blending brush and I'm blending black eyeshadow outwards. This is a look that I like to do a lot. It's very, very bold but I really love the way it ends up looking. I'm just blending that black out and then I'm putting more black lipstick in the middle. 
super super bold i love the way it looks though and there's a lot of different ways you could blend the black out to look this is probably my favorite look that i go to and then for this next look i'm just extending my smile line again with that fluffy blending brush then going in with some liquid eyeliner and adding these little squiggly lines. If you couldn't tell already, this look is definitely very corpse paint inspired. Um, just go ham with this. Be as messy as you want. Add some variations of lines. I feel like it looks best when you add different variations. Thicker ones, thinner ones, longer ones, more squiggly ones. Um, and I like the way this looks. Definitely very, very bold, but with the right makeup, it looks really cool. Then for this last look, I'm going in with that e.l.f. concealer again on my lips just to prep and make like a sort of base. But also for this look, I'm going to need the white concealer. I'm going along on the outside with eyeliner. I just gave up and started using lipstick, um, just lining the lips with that black. And then I'm blending that in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. You can have a bit of eyeshadow on there. I typically just leave like the residue on there and I find it blends pretty nicely, then just going over again with that white because I definitely feel like I put too much black. Um, this look is super cool. I only recently started doing this sometimes, but I love the way it looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I could help you find some more cool lipstick ideas to use in your makeup looks. If you end up trying any of these out, follow me on Instagram and DM me the way it turns out. I would really love to see or maybe even post it and tag me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, consider hitting the subscribe button. It means a lot to me and leave a comment down below on what your favorite look was. And I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.